Uh, so let's jump right in. This morning we all woke up. Luckily, I'm not flying anywhere to, uh, this morning because this morning we woke up to um, a grounding. Uh, basically, all, all air traffic in the United States was grounded this morning because the FAA, Federal Aviation something, um, was, uh, had a computer glitch. I guess the computers crashed. And every single plane in the United States, it wasn't already in the air, I guess, was grounded because this is the system that basically coordinates at the federal level how everything is done and provides information and does all this, and it broke. And not just one airline, not just two airlines, every single airline in the United States had to be shut down. Talk about systemic risk. I've always said there's no systemic risk in a free market. Systemic risk is government cause. Systemic risk is a product of government. That's true in finance, that's true in airlines, that's true in everything. Because the government has a monopoly, and the FAA is a monopoly. And, and I thought this was particularly interesting because you remember a few weeks ago when uh, Southwest grounded thousands of flights because th their computer system couldn't keep up, and it broke, and they couldn't coordinate, and they couldn't get the people to the right place, and nothing worked. And, and immediately, Butinger, Butlijer, whatever his name is, like the Secretary of Transportation said, ooh, you know, we're going to start an investigation. We're going to investigate. We're going to find out what happened. Maybe we need more regulations. Maybe we need more controls. Some people on the far left even said, we should nationalize the airlines. This is ridiculous what the airlines are doing. This is horrible. I remember there was a massive storm, and we're talking about thousands of flights and coordination and software broke. Well, it turns out the government software breaks too. And when government software breaks, not one airline, not two airlines, every airline grounds to a halt. And maybe, maybe we should launch an investigation. Maybe the airline should launch an investigation. And maybe we should start considering, thinking about, how about privatizing the FAA, privatizing the functions of the FAA. It is long overdue. It doesn't mean they will never have a break. It doesn't mean that everything will go smoothly all the time. But it's not a function of government what the FAA does. Everything the FAA does can be done by private enterprise. All the FAA really does is violate the individual rights, the property rights of airlines their owners, all of us flying on those airlines. And um, this, is a, uh, this, is a, this would be a good time to privatize the FAA. Um, and of course, there'd be competition. There wouldn't just be one FAA, there'd be competition. One system went down, maybe other systems could cover it, maybe only a part of the United States would go out, not the entire United States. Um, there, there wouldn't be just one monopoly FAA like there is today. They'd actually be competitive FAAs. And then they'd have an incentive to have the best computer system. Now, again, Southwest is competitive and it still broke. So it can still break, even when you have competition. But Southwest is just one airline. Other airlines responded better. FAA fragmented, FAA competing, FAAs some of the system would go down. It wouldn't be systemic. It wouldn't be the entire country. Uh, Brian says, supposed to fly to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, where I am. Uh, for vacation this afternoon, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, flights are back up. So FAA fixed the problem. Flights are flying again. I wouldn't be surprised if you had delays, but uh, you probably are fine in terms of, um, in terms of uh, flights going back up. At least, I assume so, unless there, there are other, you know, uh, knock-on effects of, uh, of what happened. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe 
press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.